Oh, come on. You can do better than that. What's up, guys? Skylo here. It's been a hell of a week at work. It's been a hell of a three weeks at work. Uh, I'm just... I'm just, I can't even find my words hardly. I'm so whipped. I just did a 10 hour stretch by myself. No other pharmacists on duty, just me. And I'm fine with that, I really am. It's not a complaint. I'm happy to have a job that's still thriving in the midst of all this where so many people are not. So don't take me bitching about how bad my feet hurt as some kind of, you know, dig about what well, at least you're working because, you know, I feel it and I understand. But damn! So, I'm done with that. And I don't think I have any students until tomorrow. At least I hope I have students tomorrow because I'm off all day. The warm weather is gone. We had one day of that and now it's hot. It's about 90 degrees, high 80s. It's, it's falling off. It is evening. The sun's about to set. It was raining all the way up till this morning. Everything is soupy wet still. But I think I've got a spot out here in the yard. I'm going to lay out the old Hadron XX22, strap it up to the Maverick 185. I made a carb adjustment. We'll see how that works. I put about six liters of fuel in and I'm just going to go decompress my favorite way and i want you to come along with me so let's get to it who would have ever imagined that uh gas would be cheap during the apocalypse i figured people be hoarding gasoline but no been hoarding toilet paper thank god because gasoline's like the only thing i plan on using during these tough times let's do a little quick pre-flight on this beast here make sure our belt's good our exhaust is on silencer air box plug pull start motor mounts fuel lines springs no leaks give it a little primer rooski here wires look good yeah let's start her up i'm gonna warm her up on my little carrier here good haha -ha. third pull is always the charm on this thing make sure that everything's ticking away nice always beautiful gas caps on good harness is secure netting is tight yeah, the wind, I mean, they were claiming light and variable. It's obviously cycling all over the place. I'm getting a little bit of east, a little bit of south, then a good west. But the winds aloft are out of the west. So I laid out so that I could take the cycle that best matches the winds aloft. And whenever I get that and see that, I'm going to commit and go for it. Man, this thing's loping. Oh, blew my hat off. Oopsie. Seems to be running pretty well shaking like the dickens at idle guess that's all right seems like it used to run smoother i don't know i'm gonna take it up do a little test flight see what's cooking see what we like about it what we don't yeah these pins are getting kind of rusty maybe time to revamp the old design on this thing yeah the biggest thing about today is the temperatures obviously it's just gonna get you know warmer and warmer and then it'll little cool off again and then it'll get warm again and we'll just have all these different different fluctuations in the weather man the ground is so soupy i've got it so i can do an inflation in the soupy part and then make my run through the driest part of the yard that's the goal maybe i can do it we'll see Clip. <laughs> And it completely dies when I line up, get ready to go. I'm launching straight into the sun. God, the ground's so soft. No, I'm gonna do what I teach here. I'm gonna exercise a little patience. I just, I don't wanna launch in a tailwind, which is kind of what it's showing right now. I'm just gonna wait for the tiniest little gust. Actually, it's almost like I feel it blowing tailwind. Yeah, maybe out of the south a little. What's the flag doing? It's just barely moving. Ah, oh, lovely. <laughs> yeah, look. A little tailwind there. <laughs> I was right. I thought I felt one hit my face. That's okay, though. I'm going to wait it out. Tailwind blowing over there. It's just a thermal breaking off. The sun's still shining bright. And when the sun's shining bright, it still generates thermal activity. Even if it's evening, even if it's low. You'll get stuff cracking off in every different direction. I'm just going to give it some time. Let it swirl around to me. Oh, come on, guys. Give me something. Anything. I don't want to get impatient. I really want to fly... But I don't want to get impatient and mess it up. Like, that's the thing. You just you just wait and wait. And, well, look, what's this? Oh, look, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? That looks good. When I feel that hit my face, I'm going to go for it. I'm going for it. And 
up we go. <laughs> Yay! Neighbors in the yard. <laughs> Let's go say hi. What's up, y'all? I think that pole needs to be uh, fixed. Let's see, all my lines looking good. Trim settings are nice. Yeah, there's a little trashy, but it's supposed to smooth out. Should smooth out as that sun goes away. Looks like there's a fog trying to settle on the area. That's gonna be cool. Yeah, I'm just gonna push into this wind here and just go. Go and look at the, uh, the nothingness that has taken over the world. <laughs> it's like the never ending story. The nothing, it's coming. Nothing to do, <laughs> nowhere to go. <laughs> oh, I think I've got the, uh, you know, the social distance 10 foot rule. Like, there's a six foot. Hell, I don't know. I don't watch TV. People tell me about it. The only news I get is from hearsay. Like, I should probably just watch the news myself, but I don't. Yeah, I like variable conditions. They're always choppy. Always. You can't find like a good wind direction. <laughs> Let's maybe get a little altitude, see how that feels. Whoa, whoa, getting lifted. Check that out. I got to do some mountain flying this week. I got to go up to uh, Panorama. I don't know if that video just came out or if it's gonna come out. We shall find out when it gets into the editor. Sometimes I skip around on edits. I don't always make them like chronological order. I don't know, man. I just try to make stuff fit that fits where it needs to fit. I'm so damn scattermouthed that I'll be talking about something, then I'll go into some lecture stuff about weather, and it may not fit in the video. I may cut it out and add it to a different video later. My editing has just gotten kind of erratic, just like my life has with the drugstore and the paramotor school. Everything has just gotten sort of super random based on weather and conditions, but I'm always messing around with it. Oh, I see flags down there. They waving. And again, as the night comes on, everything's going to calm down nice. Should be really, really good. Man, this hill right here is just the, one of the best trigger points around. The birds are always flying at this hill. Like, always, always, always. It's the local hangout if you're a soaring animal. Oh no, this little dog down here at this house, the one right down here below me, uh, the lady that lives there told me that every time I fly over, her dog goes like bananas crazy and tries to eat me and barks. And she asked me when I not fly over, and I told her that there's really no other way to get to town besides going super high, super far around. And I'd rather just not loiter here, but I would rather just go on by quick and maybe not aggravate the dog for extended periods of time. And sometimes I go different directions. It just depends on what the weather's doing, really. Wow, look at all that wisteria down there, all that purple. Golly, there's still some massive thermals kicking around. Like, wow, turbulence, what a mess. Like I said though, bright sun, low pressure. Everything's just been kicking off. Look at all the trees blooming. What beautiful stuff. All that pollen is, golly, I bet there's some, some itchy eyes in this world. Woo, wow, big pile of purple flowers. That must be wisteria there too. Heck yeah, in the wild. Boy, the weather is supposed to be good tomorrow. I got some students coming around. One kid's picking up his new wing. It's gonna be some beautiful conditions to fly in. I'm so excited. Tomorrow I will work. Tonight I shall enjoy. Even if it is ratty. <laughs> I'm cool with that too. Oh, that field's wet. Look at all the water down there. It's almost like a pond. It's been raining for days here. Just days of rain. So miserable for all the local inhabitants. The only place to go is the effing grocery store, the drug store, the gas station. Boy, that's not a lot of options, you know? Oh, this temperature. Like I'm not even, a, it's perfect. Like this temperature, flying a paramotor is perfect. Whatever it is, like 82 or 85. Ah, like any cooler and you get cold pretty quick. Any warmer and it's just a sweaty mess on the ground. But as it sits right here, right now like this, it's effing amazing, effing amazing. Good freaking times. Man, and all the water out there in the swamp. There's no creek channel. It's just all the woods are full of water. It's everywhere. Golly. 
It's like if I have to put her down, I'd be putting her down on an island. I mean, I've seen it higher, but it's just ugly high, that's all. Shade just popped over. Well, I see somebody burning something. Nice wind indicator. Don't see any airport activity. Don't see any airplanes in the pattern. Whoa. There is turbulence, though. <laughs> oh, how nice it is. Oh, how wet it is. I wonder if the field's going to dry out enough to train tomorrow. I hope. We got a couple of 90 degree sunny days coming and then they say in more rain. But if the ground soaks up all this water, you know, we should be good for a minute. <laughs> Look at this, the water's higher on the outside than it is on the inside of this levee. That's hilarious. <laughs> Freaking swamp land. Still ain't seeing anybody flying around. Oh, let's rest my arms. Even the concrete's full of water. Ah, that's terrible. Yeah, it won't be but a few short months from now. We'll be like, oh, I wish we could get a little rain. It sure is hot and dry. Oh, everything's so crusty. Where's all that rain we had this winter, this spring? <laughs> Woo-hoo! I guess on the bright side of things, with all the uh, rigmarole that's going on in society, is I won't be interrupting any ball games. <laughs> There's a pro. I guess the con is people are starting to die. I had some young people die, you know. That, like, this is dangerous stuff. Like, there's a chance the virus could kill you, even if you're healthy. Scary. Whoa. Whoa, what was that? Oh. That's weird. I got turned pretty aggressively to the left. Just the air moving around. And there's another thermal. Okay, yeah, it's just thermal activity. Gust and such. Come on, punch out the other side of it. I'm in a weird spot where I'm not making much headway, so my bailout is actually behind me. Should I have a motor out, I'm immediately making a 180 because I won't be able to make this field ahead of me here. I'm gonna drop down a little lower. Now I've got the field made. Now I'm gonna choose my bailouts a little more tightly and I'll be able to penetrate a little better, possibly get into some cleaner air. Going higher just gets me parked. Going lower, again, it all depends on if you can penetrate as to how low you should go. Yeah, look, there's a noticeable increase in ground speed. Wonder what's going on down there at the Nippers Casa. What up, Shane, Christy, whoever else is living there? <laughs> so I didn't say it in the video, but I had my path picked all the way through this entire next little thing. It's a tight spot. You never want to put yourself in a jam where, say, if your motor fails, you can't get out. So it's important to kind of stay at the edge of the field here, and I can always bail toward the middle there. And then as I come around, I'm gaining altitude. Never put yourself in a jam. Always keep yourself a bailout option, even when low. All right, on to town I go. It's still not the prettiest day down here. <laughs> as calm as it looks, like right on the ground, and right on the ground it may be calm. Like just a couple hundred feet up, you know, there's this gradient, you know, just general ugliness. This is a pretty property here. Good bailout option, well-groomed. They've got wisteria. Oh, I've seen some debris. That means the thermos kicking up out of here. <laughs> That's a sure sign, you know, if you see stuff falling, spiders and such. I mean, they don't flap. Oh, it smells like spring down here. Oh, a beautiful aroma. Wow, honeysuckle. Oh, I miss it so much. That's so good. Yes, it's so good. Freaking glorious. Oh, I want to get lower again. This field's a good bailout too. Oh, it's wet. This field's never wet. Look at the water. It's strange how, you know, you get heavy rain, stuff floods, but you don't see it standing as much as it is now. It's just standing everywhere. Just, you know, you step on a hill, it goes squish. Oh, we got these kids back here. They're always waving. Let's go say hi. Oh, I just got hit in the bug with a, hit in the face with a bug. <laughs> yeah, nobody's ball game in it today. Walmart's open. They got the go ahead. The nod from society. Can't be shutting down our Walmarts. Oh, no, sir. No, sir. That's where all the good stuff is. But the taco store is closed. Dang, freaking bummer. Are they closed or are they just like.
shut down to all but uh, like walk-ins or something. Let's see if we can see our open sign. No, I don't see anything. That must be closed. Yeah, let's go over here and check out Walmart. It actually doesn't look that busy. There's some kind of curfew in place. Like you got to be home by 10 o'clock or 5 o'clock or something like that. I don't know. This parking lot's pretty dang empty. Being that it's an empty parking lot, I guess I could legally fly through here, huh? Beautiful smell. I smell it again. Oh, springtime. I'll probably get home. My eyes will be slow shut. My nose will be running all night. Is that ducks? Yeah, is these are ducks or geese. I ain't gonna pester them. I'll go this way. We don't want to pester anybody. Okay, so there's the high lines over the road. Nobody's out driving, really. Taco Bell's open to the drive through Probably McDonald's as well. I got a student coming to the RV park. I'm gonna go over here and see if maybe he's there. If he is, I may land and speak to him, but I don't really want to. My feet hurt, guys. They hurt real bad from standing on them all day. Gosh, it's turbulent down here. I'm gonna go back up. Altitude is your friend. Definitely your friend. Hey. What's up, McDonald's guy or girl? Can't tell these days. Look at the wind socks sticking out. Oh, we got our flag back. That's where I was all day, right there. Mall Pharmacy. Woo! Glad to be done with it. Parking lot's like a damn pond, too. Am I social distanced enough? I hope so. I managed to get a haircut before everything shut down. But Subway's a good option, like, as long as the people there keep their hands clean. That would be kind of a pretty neat thing for, uh, oh, you know, society. Like, you've only got the employees who are trained to use aseptic technique yeah man the wind is uh blowing still pretty good yeah i don't think that's my people no it's like they've been set up more than a little bit i needed this i needed to dangle my feet and do a little weight shifty shifty it's time to get back in flying shape i've been getting fat lately yeah i went off my diet and i've been considering going back on it just any minute now so to speak i've just been eating honey buns and shit yeah and sonic McDonald's and strikes on pizza and beer. But I think I may uh, I may reinstitute the old uh, carb restrictions again. I always feel so good when I do that. Uh, we got some more exercisers down here. Hey guys. So it's turbulent. It's turbulent. It's turbulent. I know there's power lines there, but you can't see them. That's crazy. Oh, there they are. Now I see them. It just goes to show how visible they are till the very last second. Scary stuff if you're in a bind, you know. But you better know your area. And even knowing your area, one of my biggest fears is, uh, oh, and it was realized one time by a dude. I heard the story. I was not involved in it, but he had flown an area, like, years before, like in a dam or a canyon or somewhere like that. And then he decided that he would uh, go back several years later on his paramotor and refly it. Hey, they are open. Just nobody's there. <laughs> and so he goes, uh, he goes over to this place and he flies around and they had done installed like a big wire across the canyon. And he hits it and he gets either seriously hurt or killed. I think seriously hurt. And I forget who even told me this story, but they were there, witness to it. And it was it was just bad juju all the way around. But that's why. Is because they had installed a wire in a place where he thought he was familiar. But he didn't explore it because it had been a few years and he thought he knew the area but when he went back there you know i would be concerned like after like something might happen after a, like days like that would be bad like if you went somewhere a few days later and somebody had put in wires like that would suck if you hit them thought you knew the area so i encourage you to even areas that you're familiar with to explore before getting low and flying low you know low is the danger zone try to stay out of there if you can i know flying low is fun and it's like one of the most sought after experiences of a paramotor is to be able to fly low even free flight paragliding that's not something you do you, you go high you're only low for taking off or landing most dangerous times most time people get hurt out flying around, not so much. Let's get some altitude. Higher is better. Ask any 
throw that out there. The higher you get, the better you are. Two point. Wow, 20 minutes before sunset. There's still kumis out here banging around. The north, development out here to the south. Just kind of hung up in the middle here, looking for air traffic. Oh, let's see what the old fuel mirror tells us. How does it work? Oh, it's showing a couple of liters left. Time that just right. I put about six in there. And I'm near the traffic pattern at the airport. I do want to make sure that nothing weird is happening here as far as airplanes and helicopters, jets. I don't see anything weird. Yeah, the ride home is not taking very long at all. I'm just gonna stow these toggles here. Ah, relax my dang shoulders. So you wanna avoid the virus, you just stay away from people. Like here. There's nobody here. <laughs> Kyle wins the day. Yeah, man, this thing is just loping. It's like idling rough. I think I need to lean out the low screw is what I think. I, I believe so. I'll check my plug after this one. We'll find out. Get me flying sideways up here. I to change my uh, crab angle just a little bit. Point it more toward the his house. Yeah, it's strong up here. Yeah, look at this. I'm just like, just like drifting along. <laughs> so weird. You point it this way. But you're going this way. Ah, oh, it's gonna be one of those beautiful hazy sunsets. I dig it. I dig it. All right, there's my house. Oh, let's get on the toggles here. Into the wind. Watch the sunset for a few minutes, or about a minute. I'm doing like a vertical descent, like a helicopter descent. I got the brakes pulled where I'm kind of slow. Oh, that's cool. I'm just like sinking down to the earth. <laughs> this is like superhero shit, man. Just going down. Oh, wow. Who else gets to do this? I guess other paramotor guys, right? Ha! Alright, let's slip back around here toward the house. I got downwind turn real fast. Wind socks. Well, one of them's blowing and one of them's doing nothing. Let's see if we can't time a cycle right, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Hmm. I feel like I'm going to put it in the mud. <laughs> oh, yeah. The sun's set. Yes, boys and girls. It's pretty nice tonight. I'm going to stay up just another few seconds. Soak in that shit. I ain't broken the cows in a while. I want to make sure they remember me. Let's go do a lap around the cows while we're watching the sunset. Then we'll go home and land. So beautiful. I don't have a strobe on either, so we'll do it legal tonight, as we do every night. Disclaimer. And sunset. We'll go back up and see it again. Ah, there it is again. <laughs> Woo! Okay, let's watch it twice. All right, we ready? Are we ready? Sunset! Let's do it third time, why don't we? <laughs> Woohoo! Ah, let's see if we get to go for the hat trick. Hat trick. Here we go. Can we do it? Can we do it? Are we gonna do it? And. Uh, sunset! <laughs> Freaking amazing. I love these things. Okay, now I can't see. Shh. I can't see anything because I've been staring at the sun. That's readjusted. Pick my approach path. Looks like really super calm winds down there, so. It's gonna be a fast landing. Let's stretch my old legs out. My old man fucking legs. Oh, my calves are sore. Golly. Sore calves. Shoot my approach into here. There's a little wind. I'm gonna kill it. And bring it on in. Whoa, it's fast. I'll bleed it out. <laughs> oh, the ground's actually kind of firm here. 
Oh, come on down, Wayne. Oh, there it goes. On its back. Very nice. Very nice flight. I needed that so much. Like, ah. Uh. So that was more or less amazing. And ah, oh, my feet. It hurts to walk again. Back on the ground. I'm already bitching. <laughs> it didn't take long, did it? I'm going to pack it up. Go inside and kick these beasts up for a minute. Got to get back to work tomorrow. But I'm glad you came along with me. I hope you enjoyed the flight. Much love, everybody. Call out.